according to the paper, the GM catalog, 3826S Buick, 65-300 engine. We're going to test it. And it has the uh, factory heat choke, which we don't like, but we can put your electric one on it for 35 bucks. We're going to test it out. We're going to do two tests. By the way, the choke's going to come turned off, and then you've got to plug your heat deal on here and turn it on. Um, we're going to do two tests here at carburetorsandmore.com at 832-221-4007. Man, what a hellacious storm we had last night, but it wasn't as bad as they predicted. Here out east of Houston, they were predicting tornadoes and hail, and I don't know, the boogeyman's coming, and I don't know what was going on. But anyway, it started about midnight. Well, about 10, it started sprinkling, but about midnight, it was raining harder, 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 and I don't know, we got probably about 4 inches, 4 or 5 inches, which some of you states would drown you. Okay, here we go. I think it needs to be pumped once. I'm not sure. We'll try it. Oh, that's sweet. Power valves went right down like they're supposed to. Now, uh, the first test is going to be, uh, let me see if the dyno's turned on the brake. Nope. So, it's going to be a free rev test. We'll be checking. We're checking, you see, this is what it would be like if you were sitting in your driveway. Man, is that ever sweet. Look at them. Look at those measurements. One, two, three, four, five of them. Beautiful. It's a brand new test engine we just got, too. Okay, I'm going to slide back here and throw in here. That'll put a load on there about equivalent to... We try to calculate that load about twice of what that Buick weighed so that that would be equivalent to pulling about a Buick up a hill with a flat tire on it, but... Probably about a 12,000 pound load. Don't pay no attention to that air compressor. We're working. Okay, here we go. We're going to wrap it up. That is beautiful. That's the last there. I put the rev limiter on it. So I could take it off there to... Uh, maximum four it would start shorting out cylinders to keep it up so it wouldn't blow the engine up. But we torqued it all the way up and it was able to put out, I don't know, three, four hundred foot pounds of torque in that motor easy. No problem at all. Okie dokie. That's carburetors and more. And this is a number 3826 Buick 1965 300 engine. Oh, that was good. I used to work in Buick during those days. Okay, here we go.